this is a newborn timber rattlesnake. It's only about 10 inches long. Now rattlesnakes are pit vipers. That means they have heat sensing pits on the front of their head. As you can see, right in front of his eyes, between his eyes and his nostrils. He uses those to track his prey before he strikes. And look at that little button on his tail, just a rattling. It's not making a sound at all because when a rattlesnake is born, they only have one little rattle. So it makes no sound. Until he sheds the skin and adds another one. So each time a rattlesnake sheds the skin, he adds a rattle. So there's no way you can tell a rattlesnake's age by counting his rattles. They don't produce one a year. They might shed their skin seven, six or seven times a year if they're very healthy. Look at that cryptic coloration. The chevrons on his back help to break up his pattern so he can hide in just about any situation. What a beautiful snake. He was probably born within the last month. It's early October. Crawling out into the sun. Let's get a better look at his color here. Of course, being a reptile, he's going to enjoy getting a little bit of warmth since he's been in a cool place for the last few hours. He was found crossing a road in an area that was being developed so it's a very good uh, possibility that his home has been destroyed. Beautiful creature. These animals must be protected. They must be allowed to survive. Extremely important component to a healthy ecosystem. Now you notice I've picked him up using a stick. That's because I'm not going to pinch him behind the head like a lot of people might do. That's just extremely inhumane for this creature, for any snake, for any creature, because it would hurt and possibly damage sensitive tissues. Okay, he's getting awful close to my hand, so I'm putting him on the ground now. Of course, he couldn't strike from that distance because he was not in a strike position, the S yes position. S yes for strike. And he is not very threatened by my presence, apparently. So I'm going to put him back in his holding container for now until I can get him in a better place. Beautiful little snake. I just wish I could release him back in the wild where he deserves to be instead of in captivity. But moving a rattlesnake often would sentence the snake to a slow death searching for its habitat where it was born. Studies have shown that moving 
rattlesnakes more than a short distance causes them to search and search and search for familiar places, familiar smells, which eventually leads them to death because they search and search in vain and never find it, never find the smell of home. So if you find a rattlesnake, it's best to leave him right where you find him. If you can't, you may need to call someone who can deal with him and take him to a zoo, wildlife park, a serpentarium, um, nature center, something like that. But please don't attempt to mess with the snake yourself because you may get injured because they do have a very potent venom. Beautiful creature.